Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm about to watch the first episode from the fourth season of Game of Thrones. I watched the final two episodes of season three just a few days ago. And I have a little time tonight, so I figured I may as well get started with season four. See what lies in store for the characters that we're following. And of course, at the end of last season, we had a shocking turn of events at the wedding where... The phrase decided that they wanted to take revenge upon Rob for spurning one of his daughters and not marrying her and marrying another woman instead. Now they played it off like they were all, all was forgiven and they were all going to be friends. And at the wedding between the marriage between his uncle, Rob's uncle, Edmure, and one of Frey's daughters would be sufficient to patch things up. Of course, that was all a trick, a ruse to get them there and to murder them all. So Rob and his mother, Catelyn, they're both dead, as well as many of the Stark family's men and the army that was fighting for him. Now, they never did tell us what happened with his uncle. His uncle went off to bed his new wife in the bedding ceremony, and that's the last we heard of him. So I don't know if they killed him after they got him out of the door or if they're going to allow him to live. Maybe we'll find that out in this in this ep upcoming episode or somewhere in the future. And of course, things came to a head with Jon Snow as well, where they wanted him to kill an innocent old man, and he just didn't have it in him to do it. And that caused a big fight. They tried to kill Jon, and of course he hopped on the horse and rode away. And his wife, is it, is it Egret? Is that how you pronounce her name? I never can remember. She caught up with him later on, found him, and tried to kill him. Shot him with several arrows as he was fleeing on horseback. Kind of surprised me that she did that. I thought she might go with him. But of course, how could he show up back at the wall with a wife? That goes against the vows that he took, or the oath that he took. But of course, Sam showed up with a woman and a baby. Of course, it wasn't his his wife it wasn't his baby so that's a little bit different i suppose now with the murder of her mother and her brother that leaves area alone with the hound so what's going to happen there how long is she going to be with him now someone in the comments mentioned about their adventure beginning so maybe they're going to be together for a little while and they're going to have adventures so we'll have to wait and see or at least i'll have to wait and see you already know I'll, I'll find out here shortly, I suppose. I actually like the Hound. don't quite know if he's a good guy or a bad guy, but I do like him. I like his character. He does seem to have some honor there. He saved Sansa. And he didn't like Joffrey. And none of us like Joffrey. There are times when he seems like a bad guy, but there's other times where you think, well, maybe he isn't such a bad guy after all. And I suppose that's like real life with some people. Not quite sure how to read them. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. But you like them anyway. So I'm looking forward to getting on with this new season. So let's get started with the episode. Oh, they're not starting off with the map right away. And maybe that's how the first episode is on the other seasons as well. I don't, I'm not sure now. Is that Tywin? Looks like him. Yep, it was Tywin. This scene kind of reminds me of another show I like to watch on the History Channel, Forged in Fire. He was Magnificent. forging a new sword for it's Jamie. Forged. It is. For his left hand. No one's made a Valyrian steel sword since the Doom of Valyria. There are three living smiths. He looks a whole lot different with short hair. Steel. The finest of them was in Volantis. He came here to King's Landing at my invitation. Where did you get this much Valyrian steel? From someone who no longer had need of it. That'll take some getting used to. <laughs> Mm. 
My lords, these fine men from the city watch will escort you to your quarters. In the <laughs> They're just going to go past him. After such a long journey. Some accomplished diplomacy, that was. <laughs> now, I knew he was going to say something about that. Over him before he kills somebody or several somebody. How do you plan on finding a single Dornishman in a city this big? You're famous for fucking half of Westeros. You just arrived at the capital after two weeks of bad road. Where would you go? I'd probably go to sleep, but I'm getting old. <laughs> I don't see many Dornishmen in the capital. You don't like the smell. <laughs> Come with me, lover. Gods, look at this one. Says, if you follow me, I'll arrange for a private room. Why are you wasting a woman like this on a Dornishman? Bring him a shaved goat and a bottle of olive oil. <laughs> I think there's going to be a fight. You know why all the world hates a Lannister? You think you're bold and your lions and your gold lions make you better than everyone. I think there's going to be a fight, and I think there's going to be two dead men here in a moment. Two dead Lannisters. You're just a pink little man who was fought. Or maybe they'll just be a handless man. So, decisions. Prince Herbert, forgive the intrusion. We heard that my teeth. Trouble. Ha I'm here to welcome you to the capital. The last time I was in the capital was many years ago. Another wedding. My sister Elia and Rhaegar Targaryen, the last dragon. My sister loved him. She bore his children. And beautiful, noble Rhaegar Targaryen left her for another woman. I'm asking you a question. I've heard rumors. Hmm. So have I. What I keep hearing is that Gregor Clegane, the mountain, raped Elia and split her in half with his great sword. I wasn't there. I don't know what. If the mountain killed my sister, your father gave the order. Tell your father I'm here. And tell him the Lannisters aren't the only ones who pay their debts. Hmm. Sounds like a threat to me. So is he her uncle, or is she the daughter of the woman that he left her for, the one that her father left her for? Wow. The dragons have really gotten big since last season. Wow, they've really gotten big. <laughs> They're fighting over some food. Huh? Getting a little uncontrollable, maybe. How much time has passed between seasons? Did did they say? I don't. I don't think they said. Pigeon pie. No, thank you. Lemon she cakes? seems to be still mourning her brother and her mother. No, thank you. You love lemon cakes. Tell her she needs to eat. My lady, you do need to eat. I don't need to eat. You want me to stay? He didn't give her an answer one way or the other. Hmm. Now, who is this? Hmm. A gold hand to replace a real one. Well, I guess giving him a fake hand like that is one way of 
allowing him to have his hand in a glove of some sort and not have to digitally remove it. Not now. I want not now. When? I've been back for weeks. So where is Brienne? Is she here? Is she gone? Go Come away. in. Forgive me, Your Grace. Hmm. You told me to come at once if there was anything important. She's going to tell her about Shay. <laughs> so is she going to go back to John, or what's going to go on with her? Your pretty crow is at a thousand men on this thing, right? Yeah, well, he's a liar. He is. Shouldn't it be he was? You said you put three arrows in him. Yeah, I did. I've seen you slip a shaft through a rabbit's eye at 200 yards. If that boy's still walking, it's because you let him go. Hmm. Last time I saw him, he was in the courtyard of Winterfell. He said, next time I see you, it'll be all in black. I was jealous of Rob my whole life. The way my father looked at him, I wanted that. He was better than me at everything. Fighting and hunting and riding. And girls, God, the girls loved him. I wanted to hate him, but I never could. Sometimes I want to hate you. Well, you're better than me at everything. <laughs> Same situation. It's a reading. They're, um, they're ready for you. Have you ever been beyond the wall, sir? I commanded the city watch of King's Landing, boy. And now you're here. You must not have been very good at your job. <laughs> you? There's a band of wildlings south of the wall already. Led by Tormund Giant Spain. I killed their warg and three others. They shot me full of arrows. The orders are to attack Castle Black from the south when Mance hits it from the north. The signal for the attack will be a bonfire. Mance said it would be the greatest fire the north has ever seen. That's the truth. All the truth. Do you intend to execute me? Or am I free to go? None of us are free. We are men of the Night's Watch, but we won't be taking your head today, John Snow. Go on. Well, at least they're not going to punish him for having a wife. I am acting commander here, Maester Damon. Yes, you are. And I don't trust the bastard. You told the truth. You always know when a man is telling a lie. How did you acquire this magical power? I grew up in King's Landing. 